Okay, I just got this delivered from uh, dabbed.com. I only ordered it yesterday, yesterday evening. And uh, next day delivery, look at that, less than a fiver. This is uh, my Arctic Cooling XLR Extreme VJ coolers for my um, graphics cards. I've got two uh, graphics cards in Crossfire 6870s. So let's get this open and have a have a shift. The reason I got these is because when I'm uh, when I'm gaming with uh, Metro 2033 and Rage and stuff like that, it tends to get a bit hot. So, uh, well, especially the top graphics card because the the gap between the graphics cards is uh, is just like a slot in a little bit. So, this should help out a lot. So. So if we just have a look at those. Look at the bottom. Five heat pipes. And hopefully one of these fits into the graphics card. Not like the other one. Not like the other one I bought. I had to use that damn Molinex connector. I want it on uh, PVM so I can adjust it with uh, the MSA afterburner. So yeah, looks all right. That will sit. That will sit like that in the case, which is a half 932. Uh, I custom sprayed it at Christmas time. So once I get everything out, yet, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. And that's what they're doing. Um, Give us a bit and I will put these on. Here, let me just give you an idea just how loud these things get. Just gonna take it off here. Your auto. Listen, just listen to this. That's on idle at the moment. I'm gonna put them up. I'll put them up to 75, otherwise I shake the house down. to that. That's only 75%. Jesus. And that's back on auto. So when I get these acceleros in, I will do exactly the same thing and uh, let you Okay, this is a card we're gonna change the cooler on. Got another one in the case, we'll do this one first. So, here we go. I'll be back to you in a bit. Okay, the old cooler is off. Um, let's have a look at that. The old fan cooler is in there with the with the three heat pipes looks pretty crap, don't it? Wonder it's so noisy. And the PCB, get all that cleaned up, and then we can get going. See these pads, these thermal pads. Just peel those off, but they leave a residue on the chips, so. Ugh. Anyway, I'll get that cleaned off and I'll get back. Okay, Carly, I've cleaned up the chipset but not the CPU at the moment. Uh, GPU. Just wanted to show you this. This is uh, stupid stuff. Thermal paste compound for the the RAM sets on the card, so I'm going to mix that up. I've been mixing it for a couple of minutes now, so I think that'll do. 
I'll get them put on a little drop and I get back okay just putting these putting these little st sticky things on the back the way I do it I just peel it peel it off gently probably won't work now okay what I do is peel it off I get myself a little screwdriver I put that What I do is I put it up the screwdriver so like that. What I do is I just sit it over the over the hole. And I get myself a flat bladed screwdriver. Push it off. That gets it right over the right over the hole that's necessary. Okay, I have to wait it. <coughs> After waiting two and a half hours for the stuff to go off, I'm just putting a nice screw in the top there. Okay, when you tighten these down, not too much, and do them diagonals so it sits down on the CPU now, the GPU chips it nice and tightly. I've already plugged in the fan, so I can't get it. Can't get it in there. So I'm just gonna get rid of these wires. Just fold them in the back of here. That's it, and there they are. Two in there, they're friggin' big, man. They are very, very big. Look at that. They're massive. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut off for a second. I'm just going to plug everything in. And we'll see what happens. Okay, these things are monsters, man. Look at the size of them. Coming right out there. Okay. Everything is plugged in. I'm just going to see how they work I'm just gonna put the monitor on let's see fans are on I'll tidy all this up all this up later I just want to see to make sure everything is working okay before I put all the cases on and as I get the case gremlin on it so And then I'll do some temperature tests. So I'll just take this camera off here. Oh, look at that. And this is what they look like. Is that awesome or what? They're massive. So I'll just get. I'll get after burner up in a minute. I'm just going to leave them running for half an hour or so. Put all the fans running. Six fans running. It is quieter. 
much quieter. Just that thing there, that ram cool. I might take that off. Let's see how it goes. That's that's my custom build. I've been on for a while. Right, I'll uh, leave it running for half an hour and get back. Okay, the cards are in. As you can see, I've got to tidy up the cables a bit. But, um, I'm just running a test on the temperature. See the second one, second one down. Some graphics cards around 59.6. That's 30 degrees lower than what it was before. So I'll just leave this running for another 20 minutes or so and see if she evens off a bit. Let's say the side panels are still off. And uh, you know, but those things are absolutely massive. We'll see if it does the job. A right. lot quieter than what it was. So the so the coolers are definitely doing what they said they would do. But there's one thing I'd like to tell you guys. On my graphics card it says that you need to use a three millimeter spacer. That thing and stick it to those stupid little spacers onto the sticky pits but what you mustn't do is you don't put them on because when you put them on to a 6870 AMD 6870 the damn cooler doesn't touch the GPU so be aware be aware that do not put those 3mm spacers in as it says on the instructions leave them off bed it in move it around line it up and tighten the screws in a diagonal manner nice and steady just keep an eye on the graphics card but this has now not got the spaces it has not got the spaces in okay I'm on my fifth run now so here we go it's steadied out now 61.5 so have a look see what MSA MSI afterburner says okay here we go MSA afterburner says I don't know if you can see that Maximum temperature 50, maximum temperature 52, 51, 33, 51 on the top card. Looking on the bottom. Okay, after putting the cards back in, I forgot to go and enable the crossfire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run, run the. Uh, heaven again and uh, see what happens so here we go okay just done a quick benchmark test uh, got all the graphics cards set up right this time and 66 and get it tidied up okay this is temperatures after running the uh, heaven um, it's a maximum of 70 and normally that would be 90 so so she looks like I'm pleased with her that's 20 degrees anyway probably 25 degrees at the max under load like that so that's good.